And something I should mention, um, you know, when I'm creating these maps for this tutorial, I'm, I'm doing a single layer map. Uh, you may wish to, in the future, uh, add multiple layers to your tiles. Uh, that would allow things like walking under bridges or, you know, walking up hills and things like that. Um, you may define your tile set a little differently in your games and, and in a real game you're probably going to want to do that. Uh, we may cover that in a future tutorial but to keep things simple for now I'm just doing a single layer map. Um, very basic and very simple. Uh, let's see, I'll go back to my world screen here and because this is an actual screen I want it to inherit from my base screen so I'm going to say inherits base screen class and I'm going to first define my map dimensions and I'm going to start with a public map as map base. That's a class that we just created and uh, let's see how do we want to define our map uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to do map width uh, as an integer and I'm going to set a default static value of uh, 100 and realistically you're going to want to you know do this a little more dynamically maybe call your map width and height from your um, you know map editor file or something like that I'm just uh, using starter values here to create a world that is a hundred tiles by a hundred tiles so I'm going to do map height as an integer equals 100 and public tile size as an integer and I'm actually going to be drawing these uh, to 32 by 32 tiles uh, the source if you recall our source source tiles are 16 by 16 uh, from my tile set. What that means is that uh, all of my tiles are going to be stretched a bit as we draw them to the screen. Um, so we'll be using that you know point clamping and stuff that we did in the previous tutorials uh, to draw those as sharply as possible without uh, uh, softening the edges and things like that so there's no weird graphics artifacts as a result um, so uh, let's uh, define our current coordinates uh, coordinate and I'm gonna do public map x as integer equals 20. So I'm going to start uh, 20 by, um, you know, I'm just kind of picking an arbitrary value. Instead of starting at the very top leftmost corner of our map, not to be confused with our screen, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out 20 tiles uh, by 19 tiles and you can use this this is uh, we'll be uh, doing a you know like a teleportation example later on and we'll change these values I may even do it in this tutorial just to kind of show you how we can can move around our actual map using this so let's say uh, 20 by 19 And let's see, sprite sources for our textures. Um, since I'm actually defining these, I'm not sure, you know, because I'm, I'm defining these in my tile, I may not actually have to do this. Um, I'm going to leave these off for now. Let's do. Um, as with any class, we want to uh, have a, a new sub here. 
I guess not all classes do, but uh, just to define our world screen here, we're going to say name equals world screen. So we can use this uh, name to load or unload the screen as we desire. And then I'm going to say map equals a new map base and we will define our map as map width, map height, and our starting position will be a new vector 2. And I'm not actually going to use this just yet, um, but we will use this in the future. So I'm just going to set that to 0, 0, because we're not actually using it in our map base, even though we uh, added that parameter as a creation start parameter here. So because we added that to our map base uh, and it's not an optional parameter, we have to define it. So I'm just creating a blank uh, vector here for future use. Okay. For input, we're just going to do uh, public overrides. I always spell overrides wrong. Sub will be handle input. Just leave that since we're not actually using it at this point. Um, another thing we're going to want to use in the future, possibly, is uh, map update. So let's say um, public overrides sub update. And something we will be using most definitely for now is going to be our drawing sub. So public overrides sub draw okay all right I'm gonna save my work here